Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Map Jam build series where we are building for the theme upside down. Last time I left you off I was going to work on the tunnels, get them all working, and well, I've done that. If I move forward in this direction, very far in this direction, apparently, I've done all of the command blocks to teleport people. There's kind of a lot. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. But also, what I've been doing is I've built the first chamber. I know I was gonna wait and record all of it, but I just got carried away a little bit. And here we go. And one more thing that you'll notice as soon as I press F1, I've built a resource pack for the two items that would be thrown to change gravity. This mechanic still needs a little bit of work, but it's pretty good. Inside the little house here, there's this little fireplace, a barrel, where you'll get these to begin with. And that's the exit to the first chamber. So I'll show this one on camera. I'm not going to show all of them. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to do a full playthrough. We'll see, we'll see about that. But you can come in here and change gravity to fall up the chimney onto the smoke. I've also done little effects for when you change gravity. So you can jump along here and make it to the next room which isn't built yet. And that's what I've got so far. Today's episode is going to be a long building episode. I'm not really going to focus on command blocks as that's mostly all done. And I want to get at least five more rooms done today. So I've completed the second room. Look at me behind all this glass, so spooky. But after you complete this parkour, it, you go into this colorfulish looking room, where the start of the parkour is on the roof. So you need to use your arrows to get onto this side and jump across all of the parkour which I'm not really going to show here because I'm bad at parkour and don't want this video to be an hour long but you go through all of the sides until you wind up on this green one where it will be the end of this room and you can jump into the next chamber I quite like how this room turned out and it in my opinion really shows how to change the gravity while you're doing the jumps. So this is still like a tutorial level. The rooms will get harder as you go on, but I think this room really helps show that you can adjust your gravity while doing the parkour. And there are some shortcuts, like for example, I can skip those two entire jumps by just doing this. But there are no extreme shortcuts that I can find. So, I quite like this room. And it's time to build the next one. So I have built room three of the map. So I'm just going to give you an update here. This is what it looks like. Bunch of prismarine. Also, I have extended all of these blocks, the detector blocks, outwards by 500 blocks or so to make it easier and faster to copy paste all of these to the next chambers. So this is what it looks like. There's no, the exit's up there. So you can see there's no clear path to it. Oops, that's not the one that I meant to do. So you have to, eh. And this looks like the easiest way to it, but you can't make that jump. So you have to figure out how to get to that. And I think this one's pretty fun. I'm not going to show you all the answers to it. 
you'll have to wait and play the map when it comes out. So, I'm going to get to building the next room. Hopefully there will be time lapses. But if not, I'll just keep doing these jump cuts. They seem to be working pretty well. So, I'm going to go do that now. Also, I think I've come up with a name for the map. I think I'm going to call it 90 Degrees. So, I haven't built the next room yet, but I've gone ahead and added in the next main mechanic, and that would be magma. If you step on the magma, you die, and you get a random death message. I've added in a bunch of these. Some of them are pretty entertaining if you can get them. But also, as you might be able to see in my hotbar, I also added in, like, small magma. These are actually trapdoors. The player won't be able to, or shouldn't be able to, activate them, and this is, here's why. I'm, you can if you move, so I need to f find a way to fix that. I might try and make it to where you're giant invisible slime is directly where you are during the parkour and just make it to where collision isn't a thing but point is these trapdoors work the same as magma you can walk on them you die and yeah that's what I've gotten so far Still at three stages. Stage number four is going to introduce these. After you get past this one, which I still think is pretty cool. Like the decoration could use some work. I might come back to that, not sure. But this is where I'm at right now, and I'm gonna keep building, so. So I've built Room number four, it's this little nethery area, and it's to show that the magma is bad. You've already seen it. It just does that. I tried to hug a creeper. It's fun times. But I like how this one, the solution to this one I'm going to show on camera, you can probably figure out just by looking at it, but you have to jump over here jump mid-jump, jump mid-jump mid again, and then this one doesn't look possible, but it is actually and it's fairly easy. You just run and do that. And that's this final one. Not a terribly challenging room, and there are plenty of shortcuts with these, but it's really just to show that the magma is bad. Final room for this video, this cool little rainbow spiral. I know it's not really parkour, but I thought it would be cool nonetheless. So you just have to rotate as you walk along, and eventually you'll come out here. You just drop down and into the next test chamber. I think a cool thing to do would be to make it to where you have to get flipped over again so that you can do the parkour starting like this, but that's what I've got so far. And also, that's going to be the end of this video, so if you liked it, then please consider leaving a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please hit that subscribe button. And you in the next video.